Hey, what's going on YouTube? Big Philly with Poor Boys RC. If you guys remember a couple days ago, we did a video, uh, kind of covered a few different topics, but uh, we had one subject that was a little bit uh, kind of interesting, a little sketchy, and that was um, these, these new sort of ads that are coming up on eBay or these auctions that are coming up on eBay and uh, for some Tamiya kits that are priced well below market value, like super, super shady scam looking type ads that have come up on eBay. And uh, as you guys know, I did make a purchase, actually made two purchases. Uh, I made a purchase of a, a Rising Fighter and a Monster Beetle. Both were priced at $46 USD, or 40, $41.98 USD, which is like 52 bucks Canadian. Uh, that was with free shipping uh, from Hong Kong, I want to say. So yeah, the whole thing reeks of a scam, 100%. I totally get it. And, uh, and, and, you know, some of you guys even mentioned that, you know, although I am safe in, in the sense of that I got eBay buyer protection and I'm protected with my credit card. So financially, I'm not really at any risk, um, but I am sort of encouraging scammers to do this if this is indeed a scam. So, um, so that's something I didn't think of. And now maybe in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have done this, but hey, I, I've done it. The ball is rolling and I just wanted to report back to you guys and let you know what's been happening here because, um, you know, I think a lot of us have been scammed out there one in one way or another in this crazy world with everything that's going on online, um, whether it's hacked, scammed, whatever, uh, you know, identity theft, credit cards um, with mysterious charges appearing on them. You know, I know that's happened to me in the past, probably happened to a lot of you guys. When I saw these deals come up, I did do a little bit of research and I saw in one of the Tamiya Facebook groups that some guys made orders, uh, made, made very similar orders in the past and did receive the products. So, so I was tempted, I did it, and I just wanna follow up with you guys and let you know what's going on because there have been some updates on the orders. So just wanna share that with you, check it out. So here's my eBay order page, guys. And we'll start off at the very top here with, uh, you see the order date there, my, the Tamiya uh, DT-01 chassis. Uh, fighter buggy RX memorial kit and so these guys like they've added a tracking number here recently and same with the second order which is a monster beetle so let's see if these numbers work what's gonna happen so a tracking number was provided e packet tracking and I've done a you know many orders from China throughout my eBaying life and this is sort of, this is pretty consistent with what I'd get, especially early, early on in the tracking process. So not a whole lot there. What about the midnight or the uh, monster beetle? Click on that guy. Same thing. Tracking number was provided. So, you know, it looks like a legit tracking number. I wonder if I copy this. Copy that. Let's go up to Canada Post and see if that finds anything. Bienvenue at Canada Post. All right, let's do, do, do. tracking number. Let's see if this does anything. So this is really interesting. Check it out. So I just dropped that tracking number into Canada Post and origin, Wuhan, China. Oh boy, I won't, I won't say anything, but let's just say Wuhan's not uh, on the world's happy list. I don't know if their Santa Claus is going there this year, but uh, okay, so waiting for item delivery details. Let's see, International Inbound Express. So it, it's a legit tracking number. Who knows, it may be just sending me a pile of rocks, but. But that's really interesting and that is a legit tracking number. So I'm going to keep playing around here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Coming from Wuhan, China. Uh, ex expected delivery three to seven business days. That, I mean, I've got some orders pretty quick, but three to seven business days. That seems pretty crazy. I'm going to click on the other tracking number. So interestingly enough, the, the second package, I just tracked it and it still comes up. It looks reasonably legit coming from Wuhan China okay but uh yeah I mean it's it's a valid code Canada Post 
approves it. Well, not not approves it, but um, you know, it's working on the Canada Post website. So, okay, so that's interesting. Okay, guys, so that's that's a who, maybe maybe I'm gonna get a couple buggies. That'd be neat. Now, the other thing I will mention about this is come hither. Is let's go over here. Let's go to my. Ba, 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 ba. I I actually emailed these guys, so it's coming from two different sellers, as you can see here. And I emailed this guy. Hello. Da, 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 da. Oh, where's my message? Here we go. Purchased several several days ago. I haven't received any tracking info. It hasn't been shipped yet. And just throwing that out there. And this is for the uh, the fighter buggy. And I got a response from. Isaac B33. Hello, delivery processing three to five days, blah, 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 blah. I mean, for a scam, I don't know. They're they're responding, which is sort of interesting. Uh, let's go back. So again, here's the purchase. Asking for tracking. And they got back to me. Your order will be sent within 24 hours. So I don't know, guys. It's really interesting. If it's a scam, they're really kind of following through with everything. Weird. It, it's too good to be true. <laughs> so anyway, just a quick update on that, guys, because I found it to be really interesting that it's got this far. And I will definitely keep you updated and let you know how things progress. And who knows, it might even end up with a couple of buggies. Fingers crossed. Be excellent to each other, guys. Bye for now.